have to show y'all when you have bone broth it is like what do you say what do you say Jennings wanted to say hey to y'all when you have bone broth it is like jello All right, we're gonna move into this paddock here where there's a lot of fresh grass. And also we gave them a big thing of all natural protein and we gave them some feed. So they'll stay over here, make this area look better. We'll take this hay and spread it in those, those areas like we did. It's soaking wet today. It's been flooding, look at this. Water everywhere. So we'll take this hay, spread it in these spots all through here, move their water. Give them some minerals after they eat. This is what's so crazy. I was giving them a treat. This is regular, just like a non-GMO feed. Just to kinda, cause it's been nasty, rainy, cold, and left it, but look at this. I've got four cows, one row over here, and these three that would rather eat the grass than eat the non-GMO feed. Unbelievable. We still got to put a line up right here to not cross the creek like we did yesterday. Aiden's got the water moved. We'll get the feed poles. It's just raining a nasty, nasty day. Man, nasty. Okay, so it's, we got a little clarity from the rain. Now, you remember on this side, we had the fence, the Premier One fence, uh, just because we had them. Um, on this other side, since we're trying to train the Herefords, the Herefords have never been in temporary fencing that was not nets. And being that we have two or three paddocks starting in the spring on one side and then three or four paddocks on the other side that's all temporary fencing, I need to get them used to it. So, so what I'm gonna do is take these poly fence, uh, temporary fencing and put it up so I can put the poly tape in it. Uh, I think that that will help train the Herefords because they've never been in temporary fencing on the farm. They've been in Premier One fencing or like net fencing or barbed bar. wire. Well, the only way that we're gonna actually make them get trained and to see if it works is by putting it up. And see, we're in permanent fence here. So even if the even if the Herefords get out, they're just in the other side right here where all this grass is here. Look at the rain, look at my, look at the creek. It's unbelievably high. But I need to rope it off and see if we can get it to where they can't, they won't cross it and teach them what temporary fencing is all about. So we've got a pull post right there to put the, the main ceramic knobs on. It can go across those. So we're only gonna need these few and that should be all we need. So let's get these up right quick. All right, look at our creek. I mean, it's overflowing the road here. We're actually just gonna rebuild this road and try to put a bigger culvert in. Just look at this. It's just, I mean, look. Look at that. That shows how much rain we got last night. It's a lot of water. Look. Let's just wash this road out. Told you y'all don't believe me. Here in Mississippi, we don't get like normal rains. We get storms or gully washes. So, so we got the uh, actual stakes up, the temporary stakes for the fencing. So now we're going to get our poly tape. Now we use a poly tape uh, like we've always used and been very satisfied with it. But we are now affiliate sponsor and link for Gallagher fencing or Gallagher supply so we've got a link down to their store to where you can buy things anything you get there's a promo code for 10 percent off uh, i think it's the max so the link will be down there utilize that and if you're wondering how we use and what we use and how we move our animals let gallagher hook you up because you'll get all your supplies and everything you need from them a great great company great people i've actually personally talked to a lot of them myself so i've really enjoyed getting to know them but other than the Premier One fencing we use, Gallagher's where it's at. So check them out below. Okay, so less than about 15 minutes, I've got a whole fence up going around the creek. That way they can't cross it 
and we'll put gate hooks on the other side when it's time to cross over in this paddock. So they're eating, they're perfect. They can fill up their water. The only thing left to do for them is we're gonna get them some hay. And I may even just wait till tomorrow to conserve them hay because it's still raining pretty heavy and I hate to get that just soiled. So I may even wait till tomorrow. But because they got tons of grass out here that they can eat. And uh we got some protein, some fresh little creek food. So I think they're they're pretty they're pretty happy with me right now. Yesterday they looked mad at me because they were ready to move. It started flooding on me doing pigs as you saw in the last few videos so they were a little fed up with me but well, we got this fence up again links to the temporary fence and poly wire all that stuff check out gallagher i think you'd be very pleased with all they've got uh, i actually have a new reel coming from gallagher myself and i'm so excited to use it because using the little uh just temporary reels their own can get old so i'm excited for the poly wire reel that we've got coming from Gallagher and we'll do a little bit more showing on it, but just check them out below. Hey girl. This is how cows hemp your land though. Look at this. Now, if you remember, this is where that other hay was over here by this gate. And you see, remember, go back and look at this video just a few days ago. Well, it's probably been a week now, but that was just all dirt. Everything was dirt right here. And then we had all this, that was just kind of dirt, a little grass here. And this is where that big old hay bale was. Well, we've spread it. We've already got grass growing back right there. And look how lush this grass is coming back right here and i know again it's winter so i'm saying this is good for winter and see we just took them off this and look it's already starting to come back really well use your animals to work for you sustainable agriculture let's talk, call it that don't call it permaculture because it's dealing really with mainly agriculture so let's call it regenerative sustainable agriculture how important is it to our farms putting the cows on it by letting them graze and have manure loads dropped eat spread hay that's what we're wanting here. I mean, it makes a huge difference. I mean, you see the grass is already starting to come back here. And don't get me wrong, there is tons of water flowing in here. We still got some ditches to build and all that great stuff, but it's been nuts rain. But look at the grass that's starting to really come back, all because you put cows on it. I could show them. Let's see if I can find some manure. We'll find a cow patty in here. And you'll be able to see it's just grass. That's all it is. Because especially they've been on hay and alfalfa and grass. Their manure looks like it too. So let's see if I can find some that's fresh. Okay, so here, look. Nothing like a good vlogger showing you a pile of manure, but look at the grass seeds in that. There's grass seeds all in there. Just grass, just chunks of grass cuttings all in there. Because they don't just digest food like some other animals, their manure becomes so good for the land that they're on, as long as they're not there too long. So it's gonna naturally regenerate the grounds by just letting them use the restroom on it. That's what we like. Look at this, I wanna show you this, look. This is my pond, this is the dam. And we have leaks on our dam, but really it's just a spring fed lake up here. Look at this. Tell me we hadn't allowed all our rain. This is supposed to be just grass. <laughs> and it's not. Look at that. All right. Got the, the nets down on this side of the creek. Got the charger on on that side of the creek. Now we gotta spread some hay. It's raining, soaking wet, I'm muddy from head to toe. Welcome to a, our life. It never stops. The rain slows down the tractor use and the side-by-side -side use and makes for more manual labor. So let the fun begin. Spreading this hay over on these dirt spots all around here in the rain. All right, we spread a whole lot. There's one little pile left in the middle. We'll take it there, but it is raining pretty hard. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's starting to really come down. So we're going to call it a day for right now on this project. But you see, I got all that spread right there. Got one more spot on spread right here and one more spot right there where that dirt spot is. And I'll use the rest of this little pile to do that. but. 
right now it's kind of raining a little hard so i gotta get up i still haven't got these nets up off the ground so i'm gonna do that right quick but i got to put the camera up because uh it's gonna rain on you hey guys wanted to show you what was going on in the kitchen um yesterday we made chicken alfredo and i used the leftover bones no it was two days ago sorry i used the leftover bones yesterday to make bone broth I stuck it in the refrigerator so it could cool down so i could put it in a freezer bag to store in the freezer but you know you've got good bone broth when it is like jello can y'all see that that you know that's some good stuff right there so zero leftovers on our chickens y'all seen us when we process them a lot of our innards go to the pigs and different people that want those things so not not any leftovers there um things like feet have gone to other people to use for the same thing i just use the bones we eat the meat I use the bones for the bone broth. Then I give the leftover bones to some of our animals outside, like the cat and dogs. I know some people don't do that, but our cat and dog absolutely love them. So from start to finish, there's absolutely nothing that gets wasted. Um, even the feathers get used in compost. Blood gets used in com um, garden in gardening. Yes, yeah, so we water it down. So absolutely nothing gets wasted. But I wanted to show y'all this because that is some good stuff right there. It's about to go in the freezer. I used some of it in the gumbo that is right here that will warm it up for supper. Um, so absolutely nothing gets wasted. That is a great thing. We can, you can take an animal, raise it up, and use every single bit of it. That is good, a good thing. All right, while well, Miss Mac finishes up inside, we're gonna pull over to the barn. It's getting late, but I'm gonna get this, this hay. Remember the cows just kind of quit eating. They didn't want any more of the bulls. So it's been dry, kept safe, and the sheep will eat it. So we're gonna go get it, haul it to the sheep. It's really cold out tonight. It's supposed to be down to the 20s. So we want to give them some extra hay to kind of get in their system, to be able to utilize it if they want and eat. If not, just to bed in it because it's it's a good bit. So I'm gonna go haul that and then I gotta get some wood up and I'll try to get inside before it gets dark.